The Gulf of Mexico is home to thousands of species, both above and below the water. In one area of the Gulf off the coast of Florida is Dry Tortugas National Park, islands surrounded by salt water and containing prolific reefs. Under this water, there is another world many people do not know is there. There are thousands of species here, from corals to shrimp to fish. The corals are a keystone species because many of the reef's inhabitants depend upon them. They make the reef's high species diversity possible. Some marine life feed on coral, but coral's most important role is to provide habitat for everything from sponges to lobsters to many fish species, organisms that wouldn't be there if the coral didn't exist. In the past, elkhorn coral was one of the reef's dominant species. All corals are actually a large mass of calcium carbonate produced by the small animals, polyps, that live within these hard structures. Each coral contains thousands of tiny polyps that over generations produce reefs many square miles in size. Living within the polyps are algae. The algae produce carbohydrates for the coral and give them their color. As global warming increases water temperatures, about 95% of Elkhorn coral have died. Some of the deaths have been caused by coral bleaching, when coral loses its algae. And some have been caused by disease such as white pox, a bacterial disease that has killed 50 to 80% of Elkhorn coral. A coral that used to be the most abundant species in the Caribbean is now on the threatened list. Elkhorn coral, like all living organisms, is dependent upon the cycle of nutrients between living and non-living ecosystem components. These biogeochemical cycles can be disrupted because of man's effect on the environment. Carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus are nutrients that cycle between the atmosphere, the ocean, and the ocean's living organisms, including elkhorn coral. Too much of these nutrients from sewage is a major concern for coral communities. Algae species change, and coral disease-causing bacteria are promoted. Excessive nutrients contribute to the conditions causing elkhorn coral to be on the threatened species list.